And I, listen, they, he saw something that I didn't see. I didn't think Terry Rozier could ever do this over a ten, dozen game stretch in the regular season, much less the postseason. He's been Rozier's been awesome, man, and he's like he's a tough guy. Guy from Youngstown, Ohio, with wings tattooed on his neck. Like that's not a guy you mess with. If you had to choose between Rozier and Marcus Smart for the next four years, if you could only sign one of them, who would you take? It, the smart part of me says it's obviously Rozier. Like, all the advanced numbers say it'd be Rozier. All the eye test things say it's Rozier. But for some, Marcus Smart is like some magical elixir for this team. Mm-hmm. I don't, there, there is, I'm, a, I, I'm sometimes too reliant on numbers. There is no number that explains why the team is so much better with Marcus Smart on the court than without Marcus Smart on the court. It's like that intangible thing that it does seem to energize his teammates when he gets to a loose ball or when he takes a charge and it doesn't deflate them when he pulls up from three as it would me if I were on his team. Like he he's valuable to them. And I think he'd be cheaper, Mm -hmm. right? I I think that he has specific value there. That isn't necessarily transferable the way Terry, Terry Rozier is valuable in a league. That is the best it's ever been at point guard. He's proven himself to be a starting point guard in this league, at least in my opinion. Well, Marcus Smart has spiked his salary demands this summer. Like, if Marcus Smart, if he went out in February and the Celtics got bounced in the first round, his value would probably be X. Now it's X plus something because of how he played in that second round and how he's you know, probably going to play uh, in the conference finals. I, it's a tough call for me. I would probably take Smart because next year, and follow me here, next year, it feels like Boston could put out the kind of death lineup that would rival Golden State's. Because you could play Kyrie, Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Al Horford all together. Not for entire games, but for long stretches. And you can outscore everybody. So if I can put that lineup on the floor, I want a defensive weapon off the bench. Terry Rozier is a capable defensive player. Marcus Smart is a great defensive player. So I want the defensive Swiss Army knife that I can bring into the court in any situation. I Listen, I think that's excellent analysis. I agree with you. I don't know if you want to build your team for the only two games you're going to get to play against Golden State because when LeBron goes to Philly, like Boston's yeah. drawing dead in the East anyway. What? what am, I, am I wrong? Well, I think you might be wrong about LeBron going to Philly. But, but if he were to go to Philly, like, this is... Well, okay, never mind. I'll let you run. No, 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 no. I just, uh, the, listen, that is, I, I do have this question about Boston. Okay. Just one. How much better would they really be with their stars? It's, it's, oh, come on. It, man, they, the, you, I, my only thing is you can't have it both ways. In that, the, who said that they were as interchangeable pieces as they've been, as anyone's ever seen? I, it was said last week, I think by one of the coaches, that it almost feels like no matter who's out there, you are getting the production of